Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, right there in the center of the screen, you will see a white target at 65 yards. Uh, that is 12 inches wide by 16 inches tall, and I'm shooting it with a pistol today. Let me back you guys up. Oh, just to cooperate. Okay, here we go. So we're, we are back. Um, now you're not gonna see it get hit with this, uh, but you're gonna hear the ping. Um, so the backstory to this is I've been shooting that target for the last few days with the Glock 43. The best I can get on it is so far as three out of uh, three out of seven. Okay, so um, I think part of my issue is that I'm maybe trying a little bit too hard. Like I'm getting on the target and I'm like, you know, you know, make the shot count. You know, so I just want to get really used to this idea of shooting a target at 65 yards with a pistol. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to shoot it. Uh, with 22s, okay, we got a bunch of 22s here, and uh, um, hopefully, we're not going to see it get hit or move, uh, but we should be able to hear a ding, that's why I'm, I'm wearing these little, uh, you know, these little earbuds here, uh, as opposed to the normal ear protection that I normally wear, so hopefully I'll hear it better, um, so let's, let's see how I do, now the ammunition that I'm using is like bulk federal, okay, so it's like the cheapest, crappiest 22 ammo, so some of the shots are going to miss just because the ammunition is just a little whack. Um, we might even get some jams, you know. You know, so let's work through this and see how we do. Seven out of ten, 65 yards. So this is way easier than the G4, you know, than, than with the nine millimeter. Even with a G17, I, I don't do this good. Let's let's shoot some more. Five, five out of ten. Four out of ten. Uh, definitely getting diminishing, diminishing returns here. First one, but first one was my best. As I'm starting to get a little bit more tired, lose a little concentration. My my hits seem to be going down. Five out of ten. Seven out of ten. So the first one and the last one were my two best ones. Seven out of ten. Uh, so this is really good. This is a good exercise uh, to get me used to just this idea of shooting. Get these things off. I, I really don't like having these things in my ears. That's why I normally wear the earmuffs. But I wanted to make sure I could hear those things. Um, number one, I, I just want to get used to this idea of hey, we're shooting 65 yards with a pistol. No big deal, you know. Um, now. A couple of differences here that are significant. Um, uh, obviously, this is a bigger gun, a little, little bit heavier than the than the G43. But uh, this gun is, even though we're shooting crappy ammo, uh, it's still inherently more accurate uh, because it's a fixed barrel. Okay, so it's kind of like almost like a rifle. You know, basically the the barrel is fixed to the frame and the optic goes on top of it. Th there's no movement here, as opposed to the tilt barrel. Okay. The optic is on the slide. It's it's not 
it's the optic is not on the barrel okay so every time this slide opens up that that barrel moves slightly right and if you take if you take out um actually let me pause this for a second i want to show you guys something hold on okay so here i have a factory glock 17 all right so complete factory so nobody says i'm using cheap aftermarket crap okay uh, take the recoil spring out all right so here's my bow right so here's the thing when this is and you can test this out with your gun when you put your your barrel in there right put your finger here you hear that sound okay so even when i'm pushing up against the barrel if you push on the sides here you will see that there is a slight bit of motion right if you put your nail here on the slide you will see that this will move back and forth a slight bit. Now this one's got a lot of high round count on it. So a newer one might have uh, a little bit less movement on it. Um, but the point is that the barrel and the slide are, are disconnected and your sights are on the slide. Uh, so every time this thing opens up and closes, you know, the barrel positioning is, is, is slightly off, okay? It's gonna be, it might be a little bit off, but it is slightly off every time this thing opens and closes. So that's why um, even though the, I'm using cheap federal, that bird is loud. <laughs> even though I'm using like cheap federal ammo on this, like the cheapest 22 I can po possibly uh, shoot, it's still more accurate uh, than a 50 barrel gun. Now, um, why do we use, why do we use these instead of these? Well, because you know, most defensive shootings don't happen at 65 yards. They happen at much closer distances. So having a gun that works reliably at closer distances is is the more important thing. However, I do want to have the capability to shoot at further distances. Um, and this is a way to get me comfortable with shooting at longer distances. And what hopefully will happen is what I learned there will transfer over to this. Uh, now, the other significant difference is that Oh, this one is loaded, yeah. <laughs> it's good. I, it's, I, you know, I always check as soon as I want this. I said, "Oh, yeah, this is my carry gun. This is loaded." You know, because um, I'm I'm used to like picking up these guns and you know always checking them. Um, so what I was starting to say is that uh, aside from this gun, that's what I was trying to do. This, this gun being slightly lighter than that, uh, the weight acts as an anchor. So the, the weight of the gun acts as an anchor. So this is a little bit more stable just because it's a little bit heavier than this thing I'm carrying over here. Um, the other thing is the trigger squeeze, okay? This is basically a single a single action gun, okay? It has a very light, crisp uh, trigger pull, whereas uh, the trigger pulls on, on these Glocks are a lot stiffer, especially this G43. The G43 uh, is, is definitely at the higher end, I think. I, I mean, this one's pretty well broken in, so this one's probably closer to five pounds the g43 is probably closer to like eight pounds because again it's meant for defensive shooting situations you don't want to where well, you don't want to accidentally fire the gun so at longer distances um it is it is harder to hit the target okay so you know i'm really inspired to try and that for after after shooting that let me put my ears on let's let's try it with the g43 see how we do hold on let me pause you guys again All right, so after doing as well as I did with that, let's do the G43 now. See if I can get some dings out there at 65 yards. Hopefully I'm not too tired. Maybe I'll light down a little bit. Totally um, zero. Uh, so yeah, definitely different. So anyway, um, like I said, the best I've done is three out of seven. A lot of times I'll get two. You know, I'll get two out of seven. That's probably a little bit more on the common side. Uh, occasionally I'll get zero out of seven, which I just did. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of factors here. Like I said, the, the you know every time this barrel moves, every time the slide moves, that barrel goes into a slightly different position. Uh, other thing is, yeah, the trigger squeeze is much, much harder on this. So again, that throws off your concentration a little bit. It does tire your finger out a little bit as you do this a lot. So uh, interesting stuff, like I said, I'm gonna keep working on this. Um, 
and uh, hopefully I'll improve. I did, I was doing this earlier with uh, Shield Arms, which is a nine round magazine. I don't have it here. It's a nine round magazine plus one in the chamber. I was able to get it up to four out of 10. That was my best, four out of, yeah, yeah, four out of 10, I think was my my very best with that. Uh, so I'm, so this is definitely something I'm gonna keep working at. So thanks for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. And also follow me on Odyssey, which is an uncensored channel. Odyssey is, Odyssey is spelled O-D-Y-S-E-E dot -E -E com. And my channel name over there is Pocono Tactical. Talk to you all soon.